Hello again there Star Wars collectors, this time around I have a review for you on a vintage collection figure um, uh, from early 2011, I actually got it in spring 2011, so this is kind of a delayed review, but back then um, I wasn't posting videos on my YouTube account, um, and in my latest Holonet broadcast, I um, told you guys that I am going to be reviewing random figures for now, um, from now till like around like after Christmas time just to fill in um for my 100th video so yeah I'm gonna get on to this review um the next few videos are kinda gonna be focused on um, a couple vintage clone troopers like kinda Cody right here um it's probably gonna be another review so now on to Commander Green I'm gonna start off with his card back right here it is a Revenge of the Sith card back, as you can see right there. Vintage line, so it does have the uh, the silver like stripe going around it. And a really nice detailed picture of Commander Gree from Episode 3. That is him on Kashyyyk with his macro binoculars, handheld macro binoculars right there. <clears throat> and then um, Yoda would be like standing right there um, in this picture. So, yeah, and this, the background on this figure, since it is Commander Gree, it is green. And right there it says Commander Gree with a background of green. Um, so now, this is vintage number 43, figure number 43 from the vintage line. Um, there's a picture of the original Commander Gree card back, as you can see right there. Um... Revenge of the Sith line, it came out 2005 to 2006, and, um, it doesn't really look very screen accurate, but it's still okay from back then. Uh, so, yeah, and then down here at the bottom, there is other figures in the wave. Um, first one up right here is R5-D4, which I probably won't pick up, um, maybe if I, I don't know, if I just need a, or want to get it or something. Um, this clone trooper, the 212 clone trooper, um, I was, I saw it at, um, my local Walmart, and, but I hesitated on picking it up, because I guess I didn't need it at the time, um, uh, but now I can't find it anymore, but don't worry guys, I'm probably gonna pick it up, I'm looking for it still, and then this Luke Skywalker right there, the, um, Death Star Escape Luke Skywalker, I'm not gonna get this, I'm probably gonna get it in the Blu-ray, um, commemorative collection pack. I know it's a different figure, but it's still okay. Stormtrooper, I already have it. Han Solo, um, I s I've seen in stores, and I may pick it up sometime. I'm still hesitating on it. Uh, so yeah, enough with the card. Now on to the figure. I'm gonna start off with the accessories. First off here, you get his handheld macro binoculars. Right here. Really, really cool piece. Um, the green painted, um, like, eye lens, right there, if you could see that, I don't know, um, right here, green painted, and then the green markings on the top, the yellow handles, it kind of fits in his hand, but, um, not as well as you would expect, it, uh, you can't really put it up to his head to make him look out of it, it's kind of hard, um, but you could do the scene like he is right there, um, I, I can actually show you that right now. Um, right here you're gonna get kind of a glimpse of articulation too. So, yeah. There we go. Kind of, just kind of like that. Um, his arm is resting on his leg. And, yeah. Um, so, uh, I'll just go over the articulate, well, I'll finish up the accessories. He, he does come with a DC-15 blaster carbine. The old sculpt, all the way from way back when, um, with the extended nozzle in the front, if you can see that right there. And the sculpt is just pretty old, and it's it's not as good. I wish Hasbro would um, release these types of blasters, but um, the Evolution, the ones that came in the Evolution pack. Um, so yeah, and uh, I'm going to go over this figure now. Overall, I think the looks of this figure is really, really cool. Um, I like how they captured all this battle damage and weathering on him. Like, on his shoulder bells here, they put some silver scratch marks on it, which makes it look really cool. 
But the thing is, clone trooper armor aren't metal, so why would, if you scratch his green paint off, why would it look like it's metal? It really gives it the effect like it's metal, but it looks really cool, nonetheless. I know in, um, this, it looks like it's metal, um, but, I don't know, I'm not sure why clone trooper's armor would be metal. Maybe it's like the new armor, I don't know. Grand agree, maybe might be testing it out. Um, but yeah, and uh, he does have a whole bunch of weathering on, um, the like his chest plate, like dirt marks and here and there. Um, so it looks really cool. And then another thing that I'm not quite sure about this figure is that he does have two stripes going up, um, on his chest plate, like one right here and then one down at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure why. It's not like that in the picture, but I don't know if you can see that right there. He has two lines coming out from it, like one right there. That's not supposed to be there right there at the top, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, so then he has this light, lightish green armor right here compared to the darker green, as you can see right there. More of the light green. He has this little pouch right there on the side. And then he has, um, these kind of blackish, silverish, um, shin armor and his feet have the same paint job on them, which is really, really cool. I really like that. And, um, there's some weathering, um, snu some weathering snuck in here and there. Uh, he does have this removable, um, little antenna piece, as you can see that right there. Um... It's kind of the lightish green, as you can see on his forearms. And it just goes in a peg like that. And it's just like that. Um, he does have a removable helmet. Uh, his helmet in the movie is silver, as you can see, like that. And some white markings, like on the fin and on the side. And they captured kind of the silver down here. Um, kind of the white marking right there and right there. And the rest is just like light gray. It's not really silver at all, but the lens looks really, really cool. If you could see that right there, I don't know if you can. Okay, I guess not. Um, but uh, if you get if you get the figure, it looks really cool. The lens is kind of a metallic green, um, and it really is a nice touch to the figure. And um, the uh, Clone Wars Crane of Green, just a comparison between the two. Um, by the way, this one, the Vintage Gree, does not come with a stand. He comes with these figures right here. Um, just a comparison, this this armor is all white, and he has the strap going across. I know he has two straps right there. Um, this one looks like he's been in a whole lot of battles, in the rainforest, in the mud. Um, this one looks like he's shiny new, um, just came out, just painted his armor, and off you go, just like that. Um... But I, nonetheless, I like both of these figures. Really cool. They're the same people. Just this one is in Phase 1. This one's in Phase 2. Um, now on to this removable helmet. Uh, it's kind of... It's pretty snug compared to the uh, vintage uh, Clone Trooper helmet. The other one, the Episode 3 one. This one is pretty snug. It's not as rubbery. At, like, it's not rubbery pretty much. And then um, the head... The head it looks really, it doesn't really look like a clone at all. Um, I know he has the high cut hair, it looks like a clone, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like a clone, and it by far doesn't look like Commander Gree's head, which as you can see on the Clone Wars figure, Commander Gree has the double mohawk, um, whereas this figure doesn't, he has much darker skin, his face sculpt. Um, doesn't really look like a clone. Uh, I'll just show you Karana Cody's right here. Karana Cody's is probably one of the best looking clone head skulls that there is around. Um, but the thing is with Commander Cody's, his head is just way too small compared to his body. Um, but as you can see, if you can see that right there, um, I don't know if you can see that, but his head sculpt is not nearly as good as Cody's. Um... But it's good that they added a removable helmet, nonetheless. So, that is pretty good. And, um, 
articulation wise he does have a ball jointed head ball hinge shoulders ball hinge elbows the clone war style ball hinge wrist this one goes down and up and it swivels this one goes up and down and it swivels he does have the ball jointed torso just like that he has ball hinged hips he has ball hinged knees and he has ball hinged ankles so overall this is a really great figure vintage number 43 um, I do give this one probably on 8 out of 10 um, so yeah just because of the head skull pretty much and the uh, paint details compared to the actual movie um, but the accessories are pretty good uh, with the macro binoculars. Now all uh, Hasbro has to do is release a vintage collection Commander Bly. That would be really cool Hasbro if you could release a vintage Commander Bly. I know you're releasing him in the Saga commemorative packs which I'll probably end up getting that. Um, but that would still be pretty cool if you release a Commander Bly with ball hinged hips and maybe a removable helmet with um, the Clone Wars style type head sculpt. Now Sideshow is coming out with a Commander Gree figure uh, in January 2012. You can pre-order him um, online at Brian's Toys, SideshowCollectibles.com, um, Big Bad Toy Store, a whole bunch of other websites um, that sell Star Wars stuff. Um, so if you want to check, if you want to pick him up, um, he's about one hundred and twenty-four dollars. Uh, well, one hundred twenty-five dollars. Um, but it's still pretty cool. Some sites have sales on him that they're like one hundred and twelve dollars. But um, sideshow. If you don't know sideshow, really, really great stuff from what I've seen. Um, twelve-inch figures. They make busts and statues, but the twelve-inch figure line is what I'm. I'm more interested in rather than the busts and statues um, but uh, and the sideshow commander Gree that they're coming out is going to be in this armor his phase 2 armor and he's going to have a switch out helmet it's not going to have this head but it's going to have a realistic version of this Clone Wars um, type head which is really really cool um, and I myself is probably going to pick it up uh, after Christmas time when I actually have money so <laughs> um, but yeah and uh, on the other hand I do have nothing planned um, pretty much no other um, well not nothing planned I mean like uh, I don't have any I didn't pick up anything recently no customs new um, I'm working on a few stuff here and there but I've just been really busy so, um, I'll try to get back to, um, to making videos when I can. Um, so, yeah, Hall Night Broadcast is going to be this week. I know I did skip last week. Just to make my 100th video my season finale of Hall Night Broadcast. So, just be awaiting that. It's going to be after Christmas. So, yeah, um, that is pretty much it for this action figure review. I hope you like these, um, these time fillers for my 100th video. I'll be reviewing several other items too, and if I pick up stuff or make a custom, I'll be reviewing that too. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and may the force be with you.